One of the reasons modern medicine is so off base with magnesium is how they test it and have been testing it for the last few decades with blood tests. Blood tests do not yield very much information about magnesium. Why? Because the, the body controls the level of magnesium very rigidly. If the magnesium in the blood drops just a little bit, you're going to have a heart attack. So the body will rob all the cells and tissues and the bones of magnesium and keep the blood constant. So if you test, do a blood test for magnesium, the cells could be empty, could be totally deficient, and you'll still have magnesium in the blood. So blood tests are not the correct way of diagnosing. They're wasting their time, and they're basing their assumptions of medicine on something that's erroneous. They're not educating doctors to this reality. I had a very interesting experience a few weeks ago. My son's doctor, a homeopathic doctor, recommended he go to see a cardiologist. And I noticed that the doctor did not ask one question that would highlight or uh, illuminate the possibility that whatever problem he was having could be from magnesium deficiency. He didn't conceptualize it, didn't ask a question, and then recommended a series of tests without checking out the most fundamental part. What I say to people is if you're eating white rice, white bread, or white sugar in any kind of quantity, you don't need a test. You're guaranteed at a higher state of probability than any test will yield that you're magnesium deficient and you need to supplement with magnesium. So a simple question to 95% of the population, how many people don't eat any white bread, any white rice, or any white sugar? These are the bulk foods today in the modern world. All of these people, all, every one, are magnesium deficient. No test needed. What happens when you're a little bit magnesium deficient? Or why, when people are stressed out, do they go for chocolate? Chocolate is one of the highest food sources of magnesium. When you're magnesium deficient, we become in a very subtle level, more irritable, more high strung, fly off the handle a little quicker, we don't fall asleep so easily. Going into more significant deficiencies, we're talking about depression. Magnesium is one of the primary substances for treating depression. But it's not, it's not, eating chocolate is not the answer. S supplementing with magnesium oil, putting it on your skin, drinking it, injecting it, whatever you do. I mean, but it's very important because not only are we being, you know, are most people being, uh, are starving actually from eating because of the nutritional deficiencies in the food, but we're being poisoned because of all the toxicity. On top of all of that, we have incredible and escalating stress in the world. People in the modern world are stressed out, they're running, and are, they're, running, they're running their engines of life at high speed to try to keep up with everything and their children, you name it, and they're deficient in magnesium. And this is a recipe for disaster.